neither the venue nor the opposition that Peter Taylor would have chosen. He cast an envious glance at the Arsenal team sheet when it was handed in. There's a first start for Giovanni van Bronckhorst, earmarked for the role once held by Petit, and Dennis Bergkamp is preferred to Thierry Henry. Would that Leicester had such quandaries. Their selection was complicated by the loss of skipper Matt Elliott to illness and Davidson and Sturridge to injury. Jamie Scowcroft makes his debut, and 19-year-old Jordan Stewart gets a first Premiership start in a reshaped five-man defence. For Leicester, it may be a seminal day. They've lost 10 of their last 11 Premiership matches, 12 in a row away from home. They've conceded eight goals here on three occasions, but hey, who's counting? Even without the weight of history, their task, I think, is difficult enough. And it's the quality of the performance as much as the result that will be seen as significant by those who sit in judgment on the manager. Andy Derso, the man in charge, he was the fourth official when Leeds played here on Tuesday. He had an awful lot to write down in his little black book. Dennis Wise always enjoys a spat with Arsenal. Perez, Bergkamp, and Dennis Bergkamp. A fraction wide after barely a minute of play. Oh, Leicester hearts would have been in Leicester mouths. It wasn't so much that the defence opened up really that Bergkamp spotted a chink of light and from there you'd have backed him to score Wise now Lauren Pires for Jungberg, Bergkamp is forward Wiltor is forward and no attempt made to play the ball by Sinclair it's going to be the first caution of the game Campbell, Vieira, Adams, all waiting. And there's Campbell. Didn't get to it cleanly because Scowcroft tracked back. Launching pad for so many Arsenal attacks, Patrick Vieira. Great pass to Pires. Four waiting. And Sinclair behind. Thwarting the best move of the game so far. Van Bronckhorst to take. Vieira. And Adams just managed to keep it in. Perez likewise. Still the player stationed as for the set piece. Perez. And tucked away. Easy as you like. By Freddy Jungberg. It had been coming. Relentless Arsenal pressure. Simple move to cut asunder the Leicester rearguard. And a seventh goal in his last ten starts for the Swede. That's what you call being caught horribly square. Wise trying to take control with the help of Izzet, who was fouled by Vieira. The referee wants a word. And Vieira, I think, is a little unfortunate to go into the notebook. It's his first offence. Wasn't a particularly heinous crime. But a caution it is. He might even argue that he made contact with the ball. Wise. Oh, and Scowcroft sliding in. Inches away. Will Tor. 
Bergkamp, lovely. Here is, and surely Wiltor for 2 0. His 50th game for the club, marked with a goal that was beautifully set up, particularly by Bergkamp. And then the thought and unselfishness of Pires. But Bergkamp's back heel was exquisite. And from there, the rest was not difficult. Very difficult to defend against. In Leicester's case, impossible. Bergkamp. Will Tor, Vieira, and Bergkamp has found some space, which in itself was an achievement because Leicester players were scurrying hither and thither. Arsenal are in the sort of mood that they exhibited against Leeds in the first half the other night. At times, unstoppable. The brow may well become more furrowed before the afternoon is out. Cole. Get behind by Marshall. Seems to be some backspin on the ball. Jungberg is limping for Arsenal. We'll wait until half-time for attention. Van Bronckhorst. Sol Campbell. Man on the post, but Flowers made the save anyway. Made solid contact to the new centre-back. Wiltor, Vieira. Why snapping at his heels? Now Vieira is being called across, and so is Wise as a result of this little spat. Adams becoming involved in his role as skipper. And the advice from the referee Andy Derso just seems to be to calm down. Cole. Jungberg and Dennis Wise has transgressed once too often one had been making a list of predictions before today's game the fact that Dennis Wise's name would go into the referees book would have been fairly high on it Bad tackle from behind by Delaney on Pires. Wise isn't helping by going and telling Pires to get up. And Dennis Wise is gradually losing the plot. There is a history to this in that in the FA Cup last season, when playing for Chelsea, Wise was the victim of a bad tackle by Pires, responded by goading the Frenchman. And then there was quite a bust up that ensued. On this occasion, though, Delaney is the main transgressor. Came right through the back of Robert Pires. Oh, and Dennis Wise is off! Dennis Wise sent off for revisiting his feud with Pires. And Vieira goes as well. Patrick Vieira, unluckily booked in the first half, has also seen red. And this flurry of Premiership dismissals continues. And you've got short odds against Vieira and Wise being the two to go. Campbell. Bergkamp, and here comes Pires. 
two to his left, Henri and Cole. It's Henri, and it was blocked by the heel of Impey when really Arsenal should have extended their lead. Savage. Stewart. Van Bronckhorst. Henry on his starting blocks and he's timed it well. He's onside. And what a disappointing anticlimactic finish. Although one senses his moment may well still come. The trap, such as it was, sprung with ease. And the chance fluffed. Adams. It's safe to have a gallop forward. Henri. Away from Savage, referee might have played the advantage. Henri would have liked him to. at least it'd be nice to see whether the advantage would have accrued which is within the discretion of match officials Perez Canu Henri a half century of goals for Arsenal Flowers and Leicester on their knees Deflection left the goalkeeper completely wrong footed. After the traumatic home defeat by Leeds, this is just what Arsenal needed a relatively easy run out. Grimondi, Canu, Pires deserves one. That's an excellent save though by Flowers. Spread himself and made himself as big as he possibly could. Now Lauren, Pires, Horn Marshall perilously close to his own goal and in fact over the goal line for a corner but didn't Flowers do well to keep out Robert Pires so we've seen three is it to be four Van Bronckhorst Savage Grimondi oh Henri good save Canu oh that's cruel on poor Tim Flowers who has done his utmost to keep the scoreline respectable, but Canu has spoilt all that. And what's agonising is that it was the final act of the game. Full-time, Arsenal 4, Leicester 0.